What's up? What's up, buddy? You got your Bible with you? Yeah. Let's go to Romans chapter 10, verse 9. 9 and 10. Mm-hmm. And if I could, let me get you to read that for me. That's not an example. Well, what do you? Can you read the text? Yeah, about whoever believes in their heart confesses with their mouth will be saved. Read, read the scripture itself. That's Romans not 10, an verse nine, verse ten. But that's not an example because nobody in Romans chapter ten, verse nine and ten was believing and confessing. <laughs> what are you talking about, brother? You want to do you, do you want me to tell you where to find an example of Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10? No, I want you to read Romans chapter 10 verse 9 for me. But that's not an example of anybody believing and confessing. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For mm -hmm. with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and here's the, the great part, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Mm -hmm. And what does verse 13 say? Read it for us. Aren't you right there? No, sir, I don't have my Bible with me. That's from the heart. <laughs> okay. It says, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How was Paul taught to call on the name of the Lord by Ananias? How, how was he taught? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm asking. How was he taught? You don't know? Tell us. But I will, but you don't know. You're, you're, are you just trying to be puffed up or what? I mean, no. then just tell us. No, it's just that you came on here confident and going to Romans chapter 10. I'm very confident, like brother. That's all it okay. takes to be saved. Confession. Okay. Confession what about, leads to salvation. What about calling Baptism on is an answer toward a good oh. conscience. Okay, so I'll go to the scripture. But if I asked you to teach me how to call on the name of the Lord, what no. would you say? What you're doing, my dear brother, is you're just acting puffed up. There's a way that seemeth right to the man, but the ends thereof is death, brother. Okay, well, answer this. If I asked you how to call on the name of the Lord, what would you say? If you asked me what? How to call on the name of the Lord. Who are you saying is the Lord? Jesus or the Father? If I asked you how to call on the name of the Lord, what would you say? I'd call on the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, but what does that mean? No man can go to the Father but by him. How? 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 You're saying I would call on the name of the Lord Jesus. How? How would you call? What's an example of that? What, what are you talking about? What's an example of that? I told you how. Let's call upon his name. What does that mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean what does that mean? To call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. What, what does that mean? I don't understand like, what you're are asking. You, are you saying like, ver? are you just saying verbal? Like you're saying calling on his name, like Lord Jesus, like with your mouth or what do you mean? Well, sure. How else would you call upon it? So what do you say? I just told you. You just said you'd call on the name of the Lord Jesus. You didn't say what you'd say. You didn't give me a reference to what I was asking for. Okay. What would you say when you call on the name of the Lord? For what? To be saved. I don't have to call on the name of the Lord to be saved. I just got to believe in my heart that Jesus is, if you, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus. And believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. You got to believe that Jesus came to die for your sins. And on that third appointed day, he was raised, he was resurrected. He defeated death, hell, and the grave. So That's, you believe, so you believe Romans 10, 9 and 10, but not verse 13? What's 13 say? Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you just said, I don't have to believe on the name of the Lord to be saved. Or I don't have to call on the name of the Lord to be saved. No, I didn't say that. You did. It's, uh, it's saved. We'll loop it. We'll play it. You literally play it. said. Play it. Play it. No, afterwards. So, so okay. So then we're going back then. So you do believe you have to call on the name of the Lord to be saved? No, I do not believe you have to call on his name to be saved. You just said that. Okay, so you believe Romans 10, 9, and 10, but you don't believe verse 13? Yeah, I believe on 13. But verse 13 says, whoever calls on the name of the Lord 
shall be saved. And you said you don't believe that. No, I didn't say it that way. That's not the way you asked the question. Okay. Romans 10, 13 says, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do you believe that a person must call on the name of the Lord to be saved? Do you see how confusing you're trying to word everything, brother? You it's know, God's enough. not the author of, of confusion, brother. Okay. Everybody else, I don't know how <laughs> that this question. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, Acts 22, 16 teaches that you call on the name of the Lord when you submit a command to be baptized. 